Testing is important because we have to detect every possible case so that we don't have cases that are undetected passing on infection in the community. And um, in this case with COVID-19, we believe that in some instances, people may not have any symptoms but still be able to transmit the infection. So it's really important uh, identifying those people and the only way we can do that is through testing. The current recommendations are if you've been in contact with a known case or if you've returned from overseas, travel and you develop symptoms that are consistent with a respiratory infection that you should be tested. It can take a day or two um, at this stage, but you know, as we go on, they'll become better and better diagnostic tests and we may even have rapid point of care tests which can give you an answer immediately at the bedside. We don't have that now, but um, it's probable we'll have that sometime into the future. Worldwide, there's a limitation in the capacity to test. Um, the type of tests we have are looking for fragments of the virus RNA in the throat or the nose or the sputum, and um, they're not highly sensitive, particularly the throat swabs, which is why in China we saw people using CT scans to diagnose the um, pneumonia because the throat swab was often coming back negative, and the same thing happened in the US. They started using CT scans, uh, which is a pragmatic option that could be looked at. To scaling up the test capacity will increase our ability to identify cases. In countries like Japan and South Korea, it's very interesting when we look now, the epidemic seems to be reasonably controlled in Asia, um, you know, Japan and South Korea as well. We were, a few weeks ago, we were very concerned about South Korea. They've tested extensively. So in South Korea, they set up drive-through testing facilities. The Japanese tested everyone that was evacuated from Wuhan, not just the people with symptoms. They tested everyone on the Diamond Princess, found 620 people infected mm -hmm. of those about half were asymptomatic. So we've got a better understanding of um, asymptomatic infection through those um, efforts, through the wide testing that they did in Japan and South Korea. Um, and I think uh, it's paid off for mm -hmm. them in the sense that the epidemic looks more under control than it does in Europe um, at the moment. Europe is very much the epicenter. We are where Italy was a few weeks ago with a few hundred cases. Uh, we're on the upward trajectory of the epidemic curve, so it hasn't peaked yet in Australia, which means that things will get worse and they'll get worse quickly before they start to get better. And it depends to some extent on what measures we take and where we go from this point onwards with our response. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.